Hi, my name is Peter Rogin and this is Jazz Guitar USA and we have something pretty exciting for you. Previous installment, we had a very interesting ending, New York City style. Well, let's get back on the New York Metro subway with your ticket because we're going to give an intro that you can use that you won't find out in Cleveland, Ohio. So let's start with this. First of all, I like this G sus chord or some people call it an F chord and a G in the bass. And I'm playing with my fingers. Uh, you could do this with the pick. But I'm using my fingers. I'm more comfortable with some to demonstrate this with my fingers. So get used to this fingering because you're going to move it up to the fourth fret. So you have to get used to that move. So you might just practice this. Don't be afraid of the squeak for now. To clarify one more time, remember this introduction I'm giving you is when the song you're going to is in the key of C and the first chord is some kind of C major, C major 7, C major 6. So here's the 5 chord of C, the key of C. We're using this F chord with a G in the bass. Some people might even call it a D minus 7 with a G in the bass. And then, by the way, I'm coming it up, minor third, back, and then right before the C chord, I lift my first finger up and I have an open B. And then a C chord, I just happen to use C6-9. And that's the beginning of your song, whatever it happens to be, with the C chord as the first chord in the key of C. So here we are. We're going to run this thing one more time for you, and then it's yours. And you're in your song. Use this introduction in good health. If you like what we're doing here, myself and my director Marcos, give us a like, subscribe. We have a lot of interesting stuff coming up. See you next time. This is Peter Rogine at Jazz Guitar USA. Keep pushing, keep working. Remember, you, you will be free, but you must master your instrument and you must master music. And that's what we're here for. Stay with us. Till next time.